Number 1. Rocky Exoplanet TRAPPIST-1b Based on this research, this graphic depicts what the hot, rocky exoplanet TRAPPIST-1b would look like. TRAPPIST-1b, the closest of the TRAPPIST-1 system's seven known planets, circles its star at a distance of 0.011 AU, completing one cycle in 1.51 Earth days. TRAPPIST-1b is somewhat bigger than Earth, but has around the same density, indicating that it is rocky in nature. Webb's observation of TRAPPIST-1b's mid-infrared light reveals that the planet lacks a large atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1 is a red dwarf with a temperature of just 2,566 kelvins and a mass of only 0.09 times that of the Sun. Number 2. WR-124 The brilliant, hot star, Wolf Riot-124, dominates the center of the James Webb Space Telescope's composite picture, which combines near-infrared and mid-infrared light wavelengths. Because of the physical structure of the telescope, the star has the distinctive diffraction spikes of Webb's near-infrared camera. Near-cam successfully balances the star's brilliance with the fainter gas and dust around it, while Webb's mid-infrared instrument displays the structure of the nebula. Background stars and galaxies dominate the field of view, peering through the cloud of gas and dust blasted by the aging giant star and stretching 10 light years across space. The structure of the nebula contains a history of the star's previous episodes of mass. The nebula is made up of irregular, uneven ejections rather than smooth shells. Bright clusters of gas and dust like tadpoles swimming toward the star their tails pushed back by the stellar wind. Number 3. Comet 238P Reed On September 8, 2022, the NIRCAM instrument on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope acquired this image of Comet 238P Reed. It has the hazy halo, known as the coma, and tail that distinguishes comets from asteroids. The dusty coma and tail are caused by the evaporation of ices as the sun heats the comet's main body. In 2006, Comet Red was one of three objects used to define the category of main belt comets. Previously, comets were thought to live in the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud, beyond Neptune's orbit, where their ices were kept away from the Sun. Since then, scientists have worked to prove the presence of sublimating material in main belt comets, demonstrating that their coma and tail are caused by the same mechanisms as other comets. Webb's sensitive near-spec sensor achieved this aim by detecting water vapor on Comet Reed. Number 4. Globular Cluster M92 Webb's NIRCAM sensor obtained this detail of the globular cluster Messier 92. This field of vision encompasses the bottom left quadrant of the image's right half. Globular clusters are dense clumps of closely packed stars that formed all at once. M92 contains around 300,000 stars packed into a ball roughly 100 light years wide. The night sky of a planet in the center of M92 would be illuminated by thousands of stars, thousands of times brighter than those in our own sky. The picture depicts stars at various distances from the cluster's core which aids scientists in understanding the motion of the stars and the mechanics of that motion. Number 5. Artist's Concept of Comet 238P This image of Comet 238P Red depicts the main belt comet sublimating or its water ice vaporizing as it approaches the Sun. This is crucial because sublimation differentiates comets from asteroids by producing their characteristic tail and hazy halo or coma. It is especially significant for Comet Reed, as it is one of 16 known main belt comets located in the asteroid belt, rather than the colder Keeper Belt or Oort Cloud, which lies further from the Sun. In 2006, Comet Red was one of three comets that were used to define the class of main belt comets. The finding of water vapor by the James Webb Space Telescope at Comet Red is a significant milestone in the study of main belt comets and the larger examination of the origins of Earth's plentiful water. 
However, the absence of carbon dioxide in the sublimating material was a surprise that scientists will need to investigate more in order to have a better understanding of the role main belt comets play in the history and current status of our solar system. Number six, Uranus Webb's near-infrared camera acquired this zoomed-in image of Uranus on February 6, 2023, revealing breathtaking views of the planet's rings. This representative color image of the planet has a blue tint since it was created by merging data from two filters at 1.4 and 3.0 microns, which are displayed here as blue and orange, respectively. A polar cap is a region of brightness at the pole facing the sun on the planet's right side. Uranus has this polar cap because it is the only planet in the solar system that is tipped on its side, causing its severe seasons. Webb discovered a modest brightening at the Uranian North Pole, which is a novel feature of the polar cap. A brilliant cloud, as well as a few fainter extended structures, can be seen near the polar cap's edge, and a second extremely bright cloud can be seen at the planet's left limb. Such clouds are typical of Uranus at infrared wavelengths and are most likely associated with storm activity. Number seven, Webb observations of HUDF. The near-infrared camera on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope captured this image of the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. The Webb picture scans the field at depths equivalent to Hubble, displaying galaxies of equal faintness in one-tenth the time it comprises 1.8 micron blue light, 2.1 micron green light, 4.3 micron yellow light, 4.6 micron orange light, and 4.8 micron red light. Filters F182M, F210M, F430M, F4060M, and F480M. Number eight, supernovas expanding. The explosion of a supergiant star in the Large Magellanic Cloud resulted in the brightest supernova in the last 420 years. The James Webb Space Telescope has photographed the expanding stellar debris of a star that exploded 36 years ago, and this observatory's near-infrared camera captured the expanding stellar debris in unparalleled clarity, providing entirely new insights about this blooming supernova remnant. This stellar explosion, the nearest observable supernova since Kepler's supernova in 1604, was originally spotted in 1987 and is appropriately named as Supernova 1987A. It is located in the Large Magellanic Cloud around 168,000 light years from Earth and depicts the demise of Sandulik 69202, a blue supergiant star. That star was estimated to have a mass around 20 times that of the sun when it exploded. This supernova was so brilliant that it could be seen with the naked eye in the southern hemisphere. And astronomers have been watching its spreading debris ever since. The JWST has now been used to analyze the supernova remnant in a research headed by Mikako Matsura of Cardiff University in the United Kingdom yielding this amazing image of a dead star's aftermath. Number nine, hypnotic spiral arms. Scientists studying M51 with Hubble in 2011 planned to one day catch the galaxy with the JWST. That day has come. The James Webb Space Telescope's captivating new image published on Tuesday allows us to peer into a spiral galaxy floating 27 million light years distant from Earth. It's a bright photo of a cosmos known as M51, also known as NGC 5194, or the Whirlpool Galaxy, that wonderfully portrays the tumultuous interaction this galaxy shares with its nearest companion, a dwarf galaxy known as NGC 5195. In fact, it is partly due to this cosmic interaction that M51 has such an exquisite pattern in the first place. While a typical spiral galaxy has vortexed arms like M51, grand design spirals account for around one-tenth of all spiral galaxies and have highly well-defined arms that radiate from a distinct core area. Naturally, from our vantage point on Earth, they are pretty gorgeous to look at, 
It's officially up for question whether our Milky Way is a grand design galaxy as well. M51 is also referred to by the ESA as one of the most photogenic galaxies in amateur and professional astronomy. As you can see, it's been a cosmic inspiration since 2001.